What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. You ain't going to want to miss not one second of madness your homie Grand Tizzle got in store for you. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to create the 3D Instagram photo effect, the frame effect, but we're going to put a little twist on ours. We're going to put a little animation to it. You figure deal me? Let's check it out. All right, fam, now to pull this effect off, the first thing, you're gonna need a few things. Uh, first thing you're gonna need is a screenshot of your Instagram um, page. So what I did was I took a screenshot from my phone, I emailed it to myself, and I pulled it up right here. And um, I already got the background already kind of pulled out here, as you can see. So what we wanna do here is add the image inside here, and um, of course, the background. So I got a sky background that I already dug up from, um, from the internet from Google don't ask me how don't ask me why I got it from Google but we're gonna put our background right here the other image we're gonna need is some type of image where the leg is kind of hanging over or hanging down so this is Cardi B right here we can use her um, the other effect the other trick is to um, yeah this is really nice here uh, we want to put her inside the frame and the other thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that whatever image you use, let's zoom in here, whatever image you use, because we're going to use a, a puppet to kind of move her leg around. And I'm going to show you um, how you can actually do that here in Photoshop. Um, I'm just going to make another layer and just kind of save it. We're going to back this up. All right. So let's go up to our puppet tool, puppet warp and um, lock everything down. So we wanna run up her leg, her body, so that when we uh, move or use the puppet tool, nothing else moves. Now the secret to get this leg moving is to lock it down in places that you really don't want to move. So let's say we can lock it there. Sorry, that was too close. Um, and, we, and we can lock it there. And we should be able to go somewhere like here and move it. There we go. Now, so we got a little distortion right there. So let's delete that and just find a different spot. Either up front. That's a little better. Yeah. Okay, that's much better. So that animation, we can make a, a GIF file over here. Animate a GIF over here um, by just locking in the frames here. But I will come back in another tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do it over here. All right. Let me show you how to make some realistic shadows. We're going to make a few copies of her. Let's do, um, let's make one copy and let's put a drop shadow on her. And um, that don't look realistic at all, but there's going to be a technique that we're going to use. We're going to kind of blow it up a little bit. And uh, let's take and move her a little under. Now, we're not going to worry about the top because we're going to deal with that up there. Um, with another layer a clean layer without a shadow on it okay and we got that so we want to have one shadow and then what we can do is just copy and drag and just make another layer to deepen up that shadow maybe we can go up here let's see maybe let's try adjusting opacity yeah so that way we have a little tighter little darkness there with a real true fainted fall off right but that's before and after. Maybe we could turn it up a little bit. Okay, that's looking good. And um, now we want to merge those down. So put a layer under it. Select the top above layer, hold control E, you merge it down. And then you can take this, hold control E, and merge it down. Now the reason why you want to do that is because you don't want to change the effect. Effect. If you if you merge one shadow layer with another shadow layer, you screw up the effect. So you really want to merge it to a bl plain blank layer. All right, and let's take this layer and let's kind of, or well, actually we can keep it there. Now since we have this layer with the shadows on it, we can actually delete the top part, 
can keep the bottom part and you will see that the top is not going to have a shadow to it. So let's delete the top. All right. And there we have it. Perfect. So you can end the session. We can actually end the session right here. But again, we're going to take it a step further because you know your homie Grand Tizzle always got to go over the top with everything. So let's go over to After Effects and animate it, boy. Now, if you want to learn some other graphic design techniques, check out our latest flying design tutorials product over at todaysbeast.com slash urban styles. And I'll have the link in the description. All right. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub like and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my lead. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Peace.